Somerset's a land of sun, land of hope, of joy and fun. The haymaking taint never done, the milk flows all day long. Somerset's a land of cheer, land of cider, cheese and beer. The wurzel mangoes last all year, and the blackbird sings his song. Now I was born. In this film, we will be taking a tour of West Somerset, a rugged, romantic landscape of hills and high moors that sweep down to the sea. We'll be visiting beautiful villages with an appearance quite unique to the area, as well as quite little harbours, ancient castles and secluded valleys steeped in legend and history. We'll see how the area inspired some of the greatest works in English literature, and although it is essentially rural and largely dependent on agriculture and tourism, it's home to some surprising industries. We begin our journey in the county town of Taunton, which derives its name from its position on the River Tone, and which in Anglo-Saxon quite literally meant Tone Town. An earthen mound castle was built somewhere near the river by King Ina, who ruled the Kingdom of Wessex from 688 to 726. This was done to defend the emerging settlement against insurgents, but in 722 it was destroyed by his wife, Queen Ethelberg, to ensure that it didn't fall into enemy hands, and nobody knows exactly where it was located. At the time of Alfred the Great, who ruled the kingdom between 871 and 901, the town was one of his famous burrs, and listed in a document called the Burg or Hydage, at which men from the areas in question would gather when threatened by Viking raiders, in order to meet them in force. It is from these fortified towns that we get our modern word, borough. By 904 there was a monastery on the site of the current castle, which was under the control of the bishops of Winchester. In that year, Taunton also gained its first royal charter. It was William Gifford, bishop between 1107 and 1129, who started to convert the monastery into a castle, complete with a traditional Norman keep. With the conversion of the monastery, Gifford established an Augustinian priory in 1115, but it was dissolved by Henry VIII in 1539, at the time of the dissolution of the monasteries, and completely demolished except for the Priory Barn. In 